Hey, what's going on everybody from Sometimes We Snack, I am Aiden, and you're watching Sour Ones. It's the show with sour questions and even sour candy. And today I am here with Rhodium. He is a YouTube juggernaut and 10 Minute Trips larcenist and uh, behind such hits as Gazebo and the Rudolph rap. Uh, and today he's here ready to face the sour gauntlet. Um, how are we today? Um, doing pretty, uh, tiredly. Pretty tired? Pretty... Big day? Pretty tired, yeah. Uh, how are you generally with, uh, with sour food? Sour things? I feel like I'm pretty good. I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to taking this on, um, and seeing how far I'll get, comfort-wise. See okay. if I have to take any laps. Okay. Something like that. Well, without further ado, let's uh, kick things off with round one. We're starting out pretty low, pretty low key on the, the sour level. These are fizzy cola bottles. Um, I reckon two each. Don't so be giving me three now. Yeah, just grab, just grab one. Wow, the formality of this show is unreal. Ready? I'm so ready. Three, two, one. Okay. I am. Um, not being attacked currently. So you go by the moniker rhodium. Give me your top use of the actual element rhodium. That is a really good question. Um, rhodium is actually really useful for plating things. So I haven't, I haven't actually dug too much detail into it. I know it's used for plating. I don't know what that plating is for. There's a different reason why I used it. It's not it's not for any, for any of those reasons because I don't really do any metal work on my channel, as you probably know. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't watch your content, so. Oh, that's, that's pretty sad. Next round. These are gourmet sour. <laughs> you didn't want to join in them. No. There we go. One of each flavor. One green, one yellow, one. Uh, kind of that's like that's it. pink actually. It's more of a pink than a yellow. Let's chow down. Okay, you definitely a step up. From... Yeah, the fizzy bottles didn't really have any. Yeah, the, any sour at all. But the these... fizzy fizzy bottles are like bottom of the bottom. These are definitely. I'd say like these are like a one out of ten. I can only imagine these later ones that you've got are going to be absolutely fatal. I hope so. I mean, <laughs> if you had, <laughs> if you had to choose between having a, a permanently sticky foot and a permanently itchy foot, what would you pick and why? Itchy foot, absolutely. Because a sticky foot, that would be an absolute pain to get a sock on. Mm. But once you've got one on, like you're done, you're set. No, I I love my socks. I'm I'm an absolute huge fan of socks. If you know me well, I. You don't understand how much I like socks. He does like socks. So if every time I took a sock off, it was sticky, mm. that would literally be the bane of my life. Round oh, three. The classics. Haribo Tang Fat Sticks. Don't get more classic than that. that Here we go. Nice. Three, two, one. Mm. <laughs> okay. These are definitely more constantly sour. Mm. The previous ones, but because like, the previous ones they were they were quite sour, but they just kicked you. Mm -hmm. These ones they're lingering a bit longer. Mm. Definitely going up there. Uh, how do dreams work? I think as you're sleeping and you're getting towards the waking hour, there's a moment where you go from deep sleep into light sleep, and there's like a pretty sudden like cut off there. Um, but as as soon as you reach that cut off, that's when you're most likely to be dream in dreamland. So even though you're sleeping, it takes a lot longer, but it, the, the time passes. So well, however it passes in your dream, but at that point you're still semi-conscious. So there's something going on there in your brain that I don't really understand. I'm not a neurologist. Mm. So it's that's what I think happens when you're dreaming. Okay, next up, this is a 
this is an absolute like if we didn't have this on the show people would cancel us for, for good it's sour patch kids uh, and it Love sour patch in kids. the name um it's the know. forefront of these candies a couple each oh you got a yellow and a red i got an orange and a red tomato tomato shake things up a little bit um three two one Okay. Do you have a favourite one of these? Favourite flavour? Um, colour? I feel like in any sweet land, green has the best flavours. Really? Because you've got the apple. Apple is quite common. It's kind of a blue guy. You can never go wrong with apple. And lime, which adds to the sourness, but it's also more flavourful than lemon. <laughs> Fact or fiction? As a child, you, um, you, you referred to Santa Claus as Farmer Mishmoosh. I I do believe that is true. Okay, have you not one of my proudest moments, but does this does this explain a sort of reduction in quality of Christmas presents over the years, or have you uh, have you sent an apology up to the North Pole in in response? To this I think incident? he's just taken it in his stride. He's just owned it. He's he's taken up like cropping and stuff like crop, not as in like growing it, making like, making making... smaller. <laughs> I mean like planting seeds and sowing them and stuff. I don't know how you do that in the North Pole, but he's just hit. I believe he's taken it into his stride and he's become a stronger person after that. He's taken up farming because you called him once a farmer as a child. Yeah, I think I think that's true. Okay, well, farmer cause if if you're wa- moosh, I should say if you're watching, maybe go water some plants. I mean, uh, maybe got some good greenhouses because those winter months can be can be tough. Next up, this is we're reaching new heights because these these aren't just sour. These are Skittles crazy sour. Crazy shower. Shower? Whoa. <laughs> these previous ones have been hitting me so hard I can't speak now. So I'll be calling them farmer schmooch moves. <laughs> if these aren't crazy sour, we might I'm gonna have be to have really disappointed. Words. We may have to write a strongly worded letter to the Skittles HQ. Ready? All in one. Okay, you're not, you're not smacked by it. It's kind of like, <coughs> whoa, hell, you different to me. Things are happening. You're not getting a little, no, little rumble in the jungle. These are, these are like a prolonged, li- like a little bit of sour. Mhm. Yeah. Not, they're not quite as sour as the last ones, but they're just that, not quite as sour for a longer time. They build a little bit. All right, it's absolutely built. Cumulative effect. How do you plan on making your 10 minute trips videos less similar to mine? I feel like this is a dig at me. <laughs> I've come up with some new challenges to throw in there. Mm-hmm. Like, um, weirdest thing for under five pounds. That was already. When we went to sale recently, I was like, hmm, sale. That um, gives me a idea of like a discount. So see if we can find like a sale in sale. We've got what we've coined as gazebo time mm-hmm. so that's been in the two episodes that we've done um i even made a song based around one of those which was called if i'm not mistaken gazebo, gazebo. Yeah. it was i guess you're just gonna wait and see what comes next okay here we go this is uh this is toxic waste brand <laughs> this, this, oh wow this stuff it's I don't, I don't know. It's quite. So this is same guys, same guys who made the uh, our lovely prop decoration. I should note that we are absolutely not sponsored, like not even close to being sponsored. We should have asked. Toxic waste. If you're watching, then you know. Um, this is goop gum, uh, which is a really appetizing name of something to eat. Um, so here you go. It's like they've just taken one of the barrels. Maybe not the green one. Maybe the yellow. It's, it's still got green on it, so it's yeah. It's, it's not, like it's it's like it's leaking out the top. I don't really so. know, want to know how they made it, but um, anyway, it's huge. It's rather sizable. Anyway, ready? Here it goes. Can you not put it in front of my face, please? Okay, yeah. yeah. Three, two, one. Hi! Oh my goodness. Mm. Oh, it's quite the. Uh, oh, I've got the goop now. It's like I've just gone to the gym, but just my jaw. Never skip jaw day is what my saying is. Hey, amen to that, brother. Oh wow, yeah, I'm getting a shower here. Whoa, 
Mm. Mm -hmm. Big ol' punch it to the jowls. Wow. Oh, yeah. I'm struggling to inhale here. Why you got that cotton through the veins? What a hypothetical scenario for you. <laughs> oh no. You're an ice salesman. And you've just been sent to Antarctica. Right. What's the strategy here? <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna make a lot of money, otherwise you're losing your job. I just somehow color the ice. Like green or something. Green yeah. would be the, the choice that you would make. Maybe pink or maybe blue. Okay. Rainbow. That'd be wow. pretty cool. That sounds challenging. People are gonna be like, whoa. I mean, by people, I mean penguins. Right. Pen penguins That's would be like, main clientele. Exactly. So the penguins would be like, whoa, what's this ice? What's this like rainbow colored ice going on? It's like, I'm, I'm sick of this normal plain ice. Let's go see what's happening with these, these blue, green, purple, pink, orange ice. And then I'll be having a wait over time. Next round, um, this is uh, Warhead Minis, titans of the sour candy industry. Um, full of acids, actually, a lot of, lot of different types of acids. Yeah, um, Warheads, a... See, it is happening to you! That's the first one. There's, believe you me, there's more coming. Ready? No. Bottoms up. That's not a literal, like, don't ask that. <laughs> Ow. Instantaneous pain. I'm in pain. I think the other ones Whoa. Kind of slowly remove layers off my tongue. It's like a graze, and then you put, and you graze it again, and it's like, gets more even grazed. Uh -huh. It's not, not fun. No. But they're fine now. It's, it's affecting my ability to make good analogies. If you were a vegetable, <laughs> Which one would you be, and why? Would you be proud of it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> I would be a carrot. And would you be proud of that? <laughs> or would so... you be ashamed? <laughs> I would be the proudest carrot there is. When I was in primary school, because that's what it is here in the UK, mm -hmm. I I went through some weird phases because I've ended up. I've ended up with rhodium. I started off with, for some reason, levels to boss. I remember that. That was my first alias. It went through carrot dude. Mm. So that's why I got my association with carrots because I, am, right. I embodied right. the carrot as much as I could. I then went to squid man. Oh, yeah. Strange obsession with squids. Mm. But not like actual squids as in Minecraft squids because no. I'm really into Minecraft at the time. I then went to Octodude. So there's still videos on my channel where I introduced myself as Octodude. Hmm. But now, now I've grown up past my octopus phase. Octopus is still great. Octopodi, octopi, what, whatever you want to say. I was um, going to ask what is, still correct, cool. what, is, what is the correct version. All of them are actually acceptable. That's true. So after my octopus stage, I've come to Rhodium. Give me a lemon one, surely that'd add to the sourness. You do know what show we're doing, right? <laughs> what are they doing to me? I, I couldn't be less ready, is what I'm saying. That's great. Oh, God. Cheers to that. Ow. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Mm. Bro. It's like you're taking a cheese grater to my tongue. I can't keep it on my tongue for too long, I'm gonna chuck it to my cheeks. Yeah, but then it's like a cheese grater in my cheeks. That's not fun either. You got cheeks grater. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a recurring segment on this show. What? We'll explain that gram. You don't have Instagram, so that makes this a little bit more challenging. But I've pulled up some interesting past photos that need more context. Oh dear. I'd like you to explain what's going on in, in this photo right here. This photo. I think I've actually set this as my profile picture in the iPhone settings app. Um, fun anecdote. But this, wow, it's really sour. Oh, I bit it and I got, the, there's more in the middle. There is more in the middle. Oh, oh no. Man. So this is, oh wow. This is in a store in the United States who just had a bunch of stuff. They had a glasses rack. Yep. Having fun over there? No. And they just happen to have these ones on there. 
So I chucked him on, and you were, I think you were buying a record or something at that time. Mm. So you just tapped on your shoulder, and I was like, hey, Aiden, look, check out these glasses. And you were like, and you burst out laughing. Because they've got three lenses. It's for the third eye. Yeah. My, my third eye was feeling Shame very much affected at that point. Yeah, Don't know why it. the stank face was engaged, but... Hey, sometimes. Well, See, I told you there's more coming. So, there's that one, and you also took it in a mirror that was also on the thing. So that's, that's the story behind that one. No, I appreciate that. Um, can you explain <laughs> why you did that? <laughs> this is... I can only assume that this is due to shirt wearing. <coughs> Still there. Hmm. That this is in Minnesota. Yeah. On a trip where we went to like see a cool river and some weird erosion stuff. I think you were just mocking about with the 0.5 times on L L phone. Um, hmm. you just probably came up to me and was like, "Hey, Will." And then um, I did that. My eyes are not level. In, they are not pointing in the same direction. <laughs> wow, how did you do that? This defeats even me, what's happening in that photo. Wow, that's a first for things. It's playing like ground. Last one. <laughs> okay. This brings back strange memories. Really? Yeah. Sort of. Of a life under the sea. So this is in North Carolina this time, again in the U the US. Um, I think this was last last Christmas, and we went to go to a we went to a friend's house, um, played some fun games. Uh, it was like caveman, caveman, um, pick, uh, caveman password. That was it. That was pretty fun. Uh, they also just, then they got some sheets of seaweed out, so I chowed down. As, and as um, this is the result of that moment. Hmm. Thank you. Well, that has been Explain That Gram. I had so much fun mm -hmm. with that. Yeah, I'm glad. You may be wondering, we've only had nine. What's number 10? That's exactly what's coursing through my nervous system right now. You what? No. My ears are picking up. Now, how many things are you cutting? I... <laughs> the final and last. <laughs> how dare you? Item <laughs> <laughs> on the gauntlet of sourness is nature's answer to the last dab. Of sourness. The humble lemon. You're giving me a seed. I expect this to be completely gone. Skin and all. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can leave the skin. Thank God. And while you do that, I will answer I will ask you the final question. Three. It's been a it's been a wild ride. It, it's so so true. Look at us. Oh, okay. Mmm. Salt the wound. Woo! How's that? How's that going for you? I don't see why you're trying this hour. Oh, the question. Um, mm -hmm. If you could unlearn one skill to make room for a new one. What would you choose to unlearn? The ability to uh, cross these fingers like that. That is a skill that some possess and some do not. Well, also I can I can then just this this skill I don't find very useful at all. Yeah, I don't. It's quite impressive. I don't know why I can do this. I can cross them all at the same time. Yeah, I can't. I, can't do I don't. That. I don't see any use for this. I. I don't. I don't learn that. And then which skill would I learn it for? Um, probably the ability to juggle five balls or clubs. 
yeah. clubs because then if I know how to juggle five clubs I know how to juggle five balls there you go on that note thank you very much for coming along today it's been a horrendous time yeah you're telling me it feels like my tongue is like scraped by some velcro over and over again but just, like just the soft side or no just... no no just like the hooks like, uh, okay uh, yeah uh, 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 uh. Yeah. Where can people find you? Where can people find me? They this can camera, f- this camera. They can find me on that camera, they can find me on this camera now. You can find me uh, at RodianYT on YouTube, you can find me Which at- Which is the channel that this is being posted on. It's so true. You yeah. can find me here. You can find me, I'm on X, I don't do anything on there. You actually have not tweeted ever. So that's at Rodium4500. Don't follow me on there. At Sainsbury's irregularly. And you can find me on Mars, never. Thank you very much. Like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.